this goes to the little live pets, uh, the fish play set, and it's a little magnet and it pulls the fish around in the water. So it's a replacement part. And again, I have probably a quarter in this. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I always talk to you guys about how I source really low. I like to bundle, I pick things up really, really cheap. So this is one of my bread and butter Bolo videos. Um, in this video, I'm gonna tell you where I got the item, what I paid for it and what it sold for. But what I decided to do was add up my cost of goods and then add up what the item sold for, not including tax and shipping, just what it sold for. Um, I spent a total of $35 on total for all the items I'm going to share with you. So that is really, really not a lot of money. And I turned that into over $450. So $453.54. So these are items that I have picked up at garage sales, the Goodwill bins, thrift stores, estate sales, YouTube auctions. Um, I will pretty much source anywhere I can find a good deal. I love to bundle to get things cheap, but I'm going to talk about these bread and butter bolos with you, but just kind of consider that a $35 investment turned into $450. Now, of course, eBay fees come out of that, but still, that's an incredible um profit. And some of these things, they didn't sell for very much. So you're going to see how quickly the bread and butter adds up. Let's go ahead and get started here. The first item I sold is this Knickerbocker Little House on the Prairie doll dress. I got this at a garage sale and I pulled it off of a doll. And I probably had about 50 cents in this. And I sold this for $14.30 plus shipping and got amazing feedback on it. The next item is this Diego Zookeeper doll, Carrie. She's from 1997, and I got her at a garage sale for a dollar, and I sold her for $30 plus tax and shipping. This item is a minion, and he's a plushed stuffed toy, 50 cents at a garage sale, sold him for $11.50 plus shipping. The next item are these Victoria's Secret plush dogs. Um, I estimated, I think, think at $5 for these. These were a bundle deal at a garage sale. I bought all of their Victoria's Secret dogs. These have ended up being kind of long tail. Um, I don't know if I should have sold them individually, but uh, gosh, they are hit and miss. So don't overpay for these. But I ended up selling these for $30 plus um, shipping. So I still made money, but they took a long time to sell. The next item Okay, this sold really, really quickly. It is like a squeaky toy. And I know that some of the squeaky toys can be really good, but she has lost her squeak. So she did not work. Um, I squeezed her and no squeak. So I just put does not work in the title, but it still sold super fast for $13, which was my sale price plus shipping. I dug her out of the bin. So probably 50 cents, maybe less than her. This here is the vintage Jaguar black cat panther toy. 1998 Safari Limited Black Animal. Now, if you look right here, I want to show you the bottom. I tell you guys all the time, these vintage toys that are animals like this, they can do really good. People look for them. They look for ones that they don't already have. This one was really cool. I ended up taking a best offer of 20 on that, and I had a dollar from a garage sale. The next item um, I got this uh, out of a Facebook marketplace bundle. Uh, I did a video on it, but this goes to the little live pets, uh, the fish play set, and it's a little magnet and it pulls the fish around in the water. So it's a replacement part. And again, I have probably a quarter in this and I sold it for $7.80 plus shipping. Not a big money bolo, by any means major bread and butter but something that somebody needs and it's a replacement part. These earrings right here are Monet. Um, I got these at a, let's see, the Monet earrings. 
50 cents. I think those were in my bulk buy um, jewelry lot. This draft I got for 50 cents. And this necklace and earring set I got for a dollar. And I don't remember where I got that one. I have so much jewelry. But anyway, somebody bundled all three of those items for a total of $34. They were all in for $41.63. The next item here, I actually paid up for and it ended up kind of being a dud in my opinion. It took a very long time to sell. I would not buy it again. I paid $5 for it and it sold for a best offer of $24.99. I just wanted to get it out of my house. So that really increased. That was $5 of my $35 I spent on everything. So um, the next item here is the hedgehog, Amy, she is a plush toy. She came from a garage sale. I paid 50 cents for her and I sold her for $9, best offer plus shipping. This right here is a vintage bunny rabbit, witch plush handmade stuffed animal, Zelda, one of a kind. Um, I got her out of a thrift store mystery box. Typically I have a dollar approximately per item that I end up listing in these items. And I sold this for $28 plus shipping. The next item is this thermos. I picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar. This was a major bread and butter. Sold it for seven. <clears throat> Excuse me. The buyer was all in for $14.90. It's an Aladdin thermos and it's got cats and kittens on it. I don't always pick these up, but I thought maybe the kittens would appeal to somebody. Took a while to sell. This 2016 Hallmark ornament, this sold pretty quickly. I got it out of a thrift store mystery box. So less than a dollar. Sold it for a best offer of 12 plus shipping. This also came out of a mystery box. It is Geppetto Porcelain Doll Happy Halloween Hillary. Uh, so my cost of goods was probably around a dollar and I sold her for $14 plus shipping. Next item is this press and go pink monster truck. This one right here, I almost just donated it. I knew that it was going to be really bread and butter, but I really just wanted to see if I could sell it. So cost of goods, a dollar or less, sold it for $6.50 plus shipping. These items right here are Fisher Price Farm Animals. They're little people. They say it on the side somewhere. Let me see if I can find it for you. Right there, like on the back of the cow, you can see they will be marked little people. I got these at a garage sale for $1 and I sold them for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. This next item is a uh, Marshall uh, figure. It is Ionix Building Block. And the reason I picked this up is because I got it at the bin. So it was probably a quarter and I knew that it would be a bread and butter, but I just thought I could sell it. And I did. I think that one actually went internationally. If I remember correctly, it sold for $5 and 85 cents plus shipping. The next item is this creative memories, mini tape runner. This came out of that huge lot of uh, creative memory scrapbooking items. I had about a dollar in this and I sold this for $7.80 plus shipping. And um, the next item is this rainbow sticker. I got this at a garage sale and a huge vintage sticker lot. This one sticker sold for $7 plus shipping. And I got that for about a quarter when I broke it all down. This here is a controller. It is a Jurassic World Zoomer Dino uh, replacement controller. And you guys saw this in my This Is My Bolo video. And I ended up selling this for $32.50 plus shipping. This came from the Goodwill bin, so I had less than a dollar in it. This is empty tape runner dispensers. I've also shared this one before. Somebody asked why I keep sharing things um, over more than once. And typically it's because you saw it in a garage sale video and it had already sold by the time I did the garage sale video or some reason that it was a duplicate. So I apologize. That is going to happen sometimes. Um, or if I have a category video, I might mention something I sold. This is my Bolo. I always feature something. And then I do my what solds like kind of in, I batch record them. So um, you may see some of these featured in a video prior to my what sold video, if that makes sense. I'm trying to fit a lot of content into my channel and I, you know, and moving things around to try to give you guys a wide variety of videos so that you're not just seeing what sold, what sold, what sold of mine, video after video after video. So mixing it up for sure. But these empty uh, dispensers sold for $6.50. The buyer was all in for $12.11. And I had about 50 cents in those. This next item is a Christmas tree ornament. Uh, it's Hallmark. It's Snoopy pulling a sleigh in a tree. 
And let's see, I got that out of a thrift store mystery box and it sold for $9.75 plus shipping. These spider gloves um, went with something a little different. I don't usually pick up a lot of clothing anymore, but this is more of an accessory. I pulled this out of the Goodwill bins and I sold it for $16.25 plus shipping. This rare vintage glass pig ornament. I don't know what it was made by, but it is super cute. I got this at a thrift store for $1 and I sold this for $25 plus shipping. This is a Build-A-Bear plush. This Build-A-Bear plush took like 10 years to sell, okay? So, okay, maybe not 10 years, but it took a long time to sell. I did pick this up at a garage sale for a buck. I picked up a whole bunch that day and most of them have been long tail. A few of them sold pretty quickly, but... um. I, I didn't white out my background with photo room. I, I could have done things better with this listing and I just never updated it. So that's probably kind of my fault. I did end up selling it for $16.10 plus shipping. And when I tell you it's long tail and it sold a long time ago, I'm really bad about going in and tweaking titles and fixing photos and relisting. Um, I just kind of list it and forget it. So it finally sold. Uh, I just... I have other things going on and just don't make time to do those things. Those are good things to do. I just don't do it. This is a mini mug. It's really tiny. It's super cute. Um, it's less than three inches there. I got this at a thrift store for $1. I always pick up Heartstone. It's kind of in my area. I'm not sure where the manufacturer is, but I'm guessing it's somewhere near Ohio because I find these all the time. They are sometimes stamped. They're sometimes um, carved in like this or stamped. They're not a big money bolo typically. I think I've sold some Halloween ones in the $30 range. The Christmas ones, you know, 15 to 25, but they always sell for me. So it's just an easy pickup. I usually pay a dollar or less for them. This one uh, sold for $16.10 plus shipping. This is the first mini mug I've found. The next item is this uh, Fisher Price Geotrax Railroad Remote. This came from the Goodwill bins also, so about a buck in that. And I sold that for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this uh, little Cuddle Kids kitten, and it's got a porcelain face. Um, it's from 2003. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents, and it sold for $24.50 plus shipping. That item was also a little bit long tail. All right, you guys, let me know, do you like when I tell you um, what my total cost of goods was for all the items for these bread and butter, does that kind of give you like an idea of how like little you can spend and how you can turn it into so much? So now you take, if you're new, you take that $35, you go out and you spend it, you sell the items, you turn, you get 450 and then your fees come out and then you've got money to spend, like pay yourself and then also source again. So I really think that anybody can be a reseller. It, it's just, it's an amazing job. It's so fun. I mean, $35 into $450. That's incredible. And these are just little, like, easy to find items. This is not, like, hard. Like, you're not going out trying to find those big money items. These are easy to find. Like, I found a lot of these at the Goodwill bins. Check it out. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out another video. And hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And thanks for watching.